It has been, to put it mildly, a painful couple of days for investors. The Dow, S&P 500, NASDAQ getting absolutely annihilated on Monday in the wake of S&P's downgrade of the United States credit rating. It's starting to make people wonder if the best for the stock market really is behind us. Yes, we're still up sharply from the bear market lows of March 2009, but with this huge sell-off, uh, you know, in the past, uh, you know, few weeks, you know, we now definitely have the market firmly in correction status and maybe heading towards a new bear market. What do you think? Is the bull market really over? Or shall I say, did you even care that stocks were doing as well as they had been in the past two years anyway? A large number of readers said the big move up in stocks from you know, early 2009 up until recently didn't do anything for them anyway. Jay Sheehan writes, bull market? What bull market? Where was I? I should have invested in red ink. Larry E. Art adds that there never was any reason for a bull market so far in the first place. The so-called experts who say the recession ended two years ago are smoking hashish. Very nice. I think after a day like Monday, we all could use some uh, hashish, maybe to dull the pain, some medicinal market marijuana, if you will. Yes, the economy hasn't really done all that much. So what we had, I think, in the past two years was a reflection maybe that we weren't going into a depression. Some of the sell-off in 2008, 2009, probably overdone. But now we also have this pullback, which I think is also wise because people probably got ahead of themselves thinking that maybe the economy was going to rebound sharply. And that's just not going to happen. Michael Pennon expresses a view shared by many other disgruntled readers. The U.S. stock market is a pathetic game of stupidity. The market is controlled by large institutional traders that leave nothing to the millions of Americans that are looking for a bit of a safety net. A very good point. A lot of people are skeptical of the market. They think it's kind of this rigged casino. You've got all these big hedge funds and computer high uh, you know, frequency trading programs. It is tough. I think that is the reason why if you're an individual investor, it does really make sense to just kind of not get so worked up about the day-by-day day by day gyration. Finally, Cabin Guy, I love the name, too many people are spooked by plummeting pensions, shaky social security, and mortgage-like monthly medical costs. Self-preservation has kicked in and folks are saving for their very lives. I see double dip written all over this economy and hunkering down a bit is probably a pretty good idea. I hope he's wrong about the double dip. There are obviously many worries that we could be heading into another recession already, although a lot of people think we just never left the great recession to begin with. Hopefully that S&P downgrade, while very painful on Monday, may finally wake up Washington and realize that they have to take cutting the deficit seriously or there's going to be more days like this to come.